Hello everybody, this is Christy from Crafty Christy's Creations and today I am going to show you how to make an envelope. This is going to be an invitation style envelope to fit your standard four and a quarter by five and a half card. And we're going to start off by drawing a rectangle. And I'm just going to draw one out here and then we can adjust our size here. So we want it to be a little bit larger than our normal rectangle. So I'm going to do 5.6 wide and it's normally four and a quarter. So we're going to do a 4.3 tall. Oh, what did I do? Enter. And this one is going to be 4.3 there. Okay, so this is the base of our card. I'm sorry, of the base of our envelope. And now what we're gonna do is add some tabs on the side that are gonna fold over. So we're gonna again grab our rectangle tool. And I'm just gonna draw some here and then we'll be able to do the same thing for the other side. So I want it to be the same height which needs to, right here is 4.3. Um, and then the width, I wanna make these uh, 0.75. They don't need to be real wide. And then we can scoot that here. And then I'm going to hit Alt or Option on a Mac and click and drag a copy to the other side. Okay, and now I'm gonna grab all of these and we're gonna line at the bottom to make sure that they're all the same. And then you do need to scoot these in just a smidge so that way they will overlap later. But we'll go ahead and scoot those in and then we're also going to adjust the um, edges here so that way it'll all fold up really nice. So I'm going to click, double click, and then I, that's how you get your point editing. And I'm gonna click on this point and I'm gonna use my arrow keys and I'm just gonna go down uh, 10 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then I'm going to do the same thing here so this time I'm going to go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to do the same on this one. We're going to go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this one we're going to go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And they're a little bit overlapped. This one does not look like let's align them again there that looks better and then we can zoom in to take a better look at everything and you can see they're slightly overlapped and now they're all lined at the bottom that's good okay let's just zoom out a little scroll up so we can see okay so that looks good there and then while I'm at it so let's go ahead and give these a fill color so let me make it a lot easier okay and then let's go ahead and grab our rectangle tool again and we're gonna draw our top flap and I um, normally these invitation ones are really uh, they come down pretty far so if I want it to come down that far and then out to the edge so now to make sure that that is the correct width that I want we can come here and we want this to be 5.6 wide and let's um, make this 1.75 tall to 
So you'll see that's where it'll come down on your envelope. And actually, I think we're going to want that to come down further even. So maybe to there. And let's just give this a good round round number here. Um, let's go 2.25. Just kind of round it off a little bit. And then we'll line that up there. And then we need to draw another rectangle, which will be the bottom half. Control and Z to undo that move. I'm going to grab this. And again, I'm just going to line it up at the bottom. And all the way across. And then I want this piece to be to overlap my top fold so that way we can put sticky stuff there to make it stick. Okay, so now that we have that on there, and everything's the right size. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out, control and minus. And this will be the top flap. Oop, grab the wrong one. Control Z. There. So now I got the top flap. And I'm just going to scoot it up here at the top. And then the bottom flap, I'm going to bring down here to the bottom. And now we're going to zoom in on those lines and let's get them completely lined up and overlapping. And they don't need to overlap a whole bunch, but we do want a little bit because we are going to weld all these pieces together. So now you can see how far this one overlaps and it does not need to overlap that much. Let's do like right there. That looks good. Let's check out our other side flap. That one's overlapping quite a bit as well. And they just need a little. And then this one we can tell is too wide. So I want to grab just the side handle. way up here. I don't want to use the corner because I don't really want to um, I don't want to accidentally shrink our height so I'm just going to scoot it in here there and let's just check the other side to make sure it didn't move. And this one looks like needs to come out a little there okay and now we'll look at our bottom and we're just gonna scoot that over okay and let's look at our other side looks like it needs to be a little bit wider we'll scoot that over that looks good and now we're going to zoom in and look at how much it's overlapping. That looks pretty good there. Let's look at our edges again. Perfect. Right on. And that one's right on. Good. Okay, so now we're going to zoom out. Let's just go. Let's hit that. Fit to window. And then we can just zoom in. Oh, that's too far. Okay, that looks good there. So now we can see what we're doing. So we're gonna go ahead and add score marks now. And this will be the lines that are going to show us um, where to score. And I like to do mine in white or blue, but since our um, envelope is blue, I'm gonna do my lines in white. Now as I'm dragging, if I hold down shift, that will keep it a nice straight line. And we'll do one there, and then we'll come over here. 
and let's do another one right here holding down shift while I drag that down and do another one across this top and then we'll do another one across the bottom here okay and now we're going to grab all of our flaps. Basically, we're going to grab everything except for our um, score lines. And I'm holding down shift while I grab everything. And then I'm going to go over to the modify panel and I'm going to hit weld. And now everything, uh, you can see it filled it all in with the same color. And then our score lines here show us where to fold. So then when you go to fold, these tabs here will fold in. You'll fold this piece up and then put um, a little strip on the outside here, because this will fold down to be your top fold. And then you'll just put a little strip of adhesive there to put it together. And that is how you make your envelope. So now if you go over to your send panel, like you were going to cut it, you'd want to do by line color. And then you see everything that's red, you're going to cut. And then all of your white lines, you're going to score. And then that's how you make your envelope. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. Until next time, with love, Crafty Christy.